So the MIS416 uh, program for Progressive MS actually kicked off uh, towards the end of 2008. Um, our company, Innate Immunotherapeutics, at that stage had just closed down a trial in the United States for an earlier drug that we were developing, uh, which was a drug for a completely unrelated illness, uh, and that was HIV. Towards the end of 2008, we were approached by a patient with progressive MS who had been progressing very rapidly over the preceding six months. Um, she'd heard about our company in Auckland and she had heard about um, another drug that we were working on, which is the drug MIS416, uh, and the fact that we had some data to indicate that this drug uh, may have some benefit in autoimmune disease. Uh, so that patient uh, became our very first patient uh, to go onto the drug on a compassionate use program. Uh, New Zealand drug law allows for doctors to prescribe uh, an unapproved uh, medicine uh, where patients don't have other treatment options. And so under that compassionate use provision, uh, we started treating this patient at the end of 2008. Uh, we had uh, no um, good idea at that stage about whether the drug uh, would be effective. Uh, we were very happy with the safety profile of the drug and so we were happy that we were unlikely to do any harm uh, but it was to everyone's surprise when after about three months uh, this patient started to report and her doctor started to report to us some quite significant improvements in her disease. So that really kicked off this whole journey for our company. Um, within a short period of time of about 12 months uh, there were another seven patients uh, in a similar circumstance. They had secondary progressive MS. They were progressing quite quickly. Um, and we found ourselves treating these eight patients with their doctors um, under the compassionate use provisions of, uh, of New Zealand drug law. Six of those eight patients uh, had a similar experience where after about three months, they started to uh, report some quite significant changes. Um, compassionate use is very difficult for a company to um, analyze what the data really means. Um, in a compassionate use program, you're dealing with a very small number of patients. There's no placebo control. Um, and so while it's fantastic that you have patients reporting a benefit, it's very difficult to understand what that really means in terms of you know, developing a drug and taking it all the way uh, through the approval process. So what we did is we took the data from that very small number of patients and we took it up to the MS Society in the United States and presented that information to them and sought guidance from them basically uh, as to whether this response in patients was something that occurred uh, quite regularly uh, in response to a new medication um, or in fact you know did this drug MIS416 potentially um, have some real uh, application in progressive MS. Uh, the MS Society uh, reviewed the information um, and at the end of that process they confirmed to us that they um, believed that the effect the patients were reporting uh, was a treatment effect. Uh, they provided 550,000 US dollars to our company um, and uh, with that money and their encouragement, uh, we kicked off the formal clinical trialing program for this drug uh, in progressive MS. And um, that resulted in our first clinical trials in Christchurch uh, in 2010 through to 2012, and now the current clinical trial that we're running uh, both in Australia uh, and in New Zealand, which kicked off late last year. So we didn't start out to be a secondary progressive uh, MS company, uh, but over the last eight years, and with the contribution that the compassionate patients have made, uh, we're now very excited at the prospect for this drug uh, in this patient population. Uh, but of course until you've completed the, the larger scale placebo controlled trial 
which is what we're doing right now, um, then you know, we won't have the final answer.